Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for August 26, 2022, the Cyber Insurance Edition. And we begin with that story, uh, which uh, actually occurred last week, but we're reporting on it this week, uh, from a client alert from Cordery Compliance. Lloyd's of London, the world's leading insurance market, issued a market bulletin on cyber insurance last week. The bulletin sets out a new requirement for Lloyd's cyber insurance policies from March 31 forward to make it clear that cyber insurance policies issued by Lloyd's will not cover um, cyber attacks of state, state-sponsored state cyber attacks. It's long been the case that foreign governments have used cyber attacks to make money and disrupt organizations. Obviously, North Korea is in the forefront of this, but now you won't have coverage if uh, you're attacked by a nation state, similar to a war clause. So get ready. Uh, next up from the AP, uh, the former Speaker of the House in the great state of Tennessee, Glenn Casada, and his top aide were arrested on federal charges, including bribery, kickbacks, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. The indictments followed their abrupt resignation. Uh, the abrupt resignation of Representative Robin Smith, who pled guilty to federal wire, wire fraud charges involving Casada and his chief of staff. So yet another um, Speaker of a House goes down for corruption. Uh, next up, uh, in uh, intersection, interestingly enough, of the world of football and the world of crypto as Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback Dak Prescott he of uh, no wins in the postseason, has signed on to be a spokesman for Coinbase, excuse me, blockchain.com. As part of the agreement, the two-time Pro Bowler will appear in advertisements and make appearances at, at events. Although no financial terms were disclosed, you can bet your bottom dollar it is big money. Blockchain.com has an existing partnership with the Cowboys, the first of its kind in football, and uh, this would seem to be a natural extension, but given the uh, woeful no- uh, woes of uh, blockchain laying off 25% of its staff, you might think that um, spending money on a high-profile NFL quarterback might not be something it would want to do right now, but apparently not. And finally, in the what is risk category from the BBC, <clears throat> Peru is suing Repsol for $4.5 billion in the largest oil spill <clears throat> in the history of Peru. Uh, Peru has called it the worst ecological disaster in recent memory as 10,000 barrels spilled into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Repsol, of course, has denied responsibility and said, well, you know, it was really a big old wave that hit our ship. Sorry, Peru. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.